In this video, you'll connect to Mattermost to Jira and take control of your next project. After we set everything up, I'll show you an innovative way to bug bash using your new integration. My name's Andrew. Let's get started. First, you'll need a Mattermost server. You can get a cloud server on the Mattermost website. You'll also need an Atlassian Jira workspace with a project. Once you have those things in Mattermost, in the top left, go to the marketplace and find and install the Jira plugin. Once you do so, configure it by enabling it and regenerating the webhook secret, and then you can save your configuration. From there, in the channel, you can use the slash command, Jira instance install cloud, and then the URL of your Atlassian workspace to install the plugin on your uh, Mattermost server. Once you do so, follow the instructions provided to install Mattermost as an app on Jira. You may need to enable an experimental flag on this page to do so. Once your plugin is installed on Jira, you can use slash Jira connect to connect your Jira account to your Mattermost account. Once you've done both those things, you can use Jira info to confirm that you've finished the setup. Let's go ahead and make an issue on Jira from directly inside of Mattermost. We can do so by clicking on any message on the channel actions and creating a new Jira issue from it. You can add details to it just as if you're creating the issue on the Jira platform. Once you do so on Jira, you can see the new issue created in your board with the details provided. At this point, you should use the slash Jira webhook command in order to set up a bidirectional flow of information back to Mattermost from Jira. You can create a webhook with the instructions provided and enable all of the events you want to come through on the webhook. It's generally recommended to enable more uh, than less because you can actually filter those subscription events directly in each channel with slash Jira subscribe. This drops you into a full subscription editor where you can fully customize uh, every detail about the notifications you want to come into this specific channel from Jira. The granularity of this lets you specify certain notifications for certain channels based on what certain teams are working on. We can test our new webhook by putting a comment on the issue we created a moment ago. This will actually notify the channel in Mattermost because we've created a subscription for this. We can also assign the issue to ourselves or someone else with a slash command. We can change the status of the issue as well. And in addition to making changes to pre-existing issues, you can actually create a brand new issue with a slash command without having to use pre-existing text. This drops you into the same modal from before when we created an issue from a message and you can customize this issue however you'd want. You can even assign it directly to somebody, add labels if you had any for your project and change the priority. You can receive notifications from Jira in two different ways. Since we have a subscription set up in one of our channels, just dropping a comment on this issue is going to put a notification into Mattermost. But since I tagged myself here, I'll also receive a DM notifying me of this tag directly on Jira. There are many ways to use this integration, but just one way is by coupling it with playbooks to combine your Jira work into one organized place. So here I'm running a bug bash playbook based upon the template that's actually included with Mattermost for playbooks. I've customized it a little bit with fields for my own app, which you can see here. Now there's a lot wrong with this. We have to do a lot of work here. So that's the benefit of having a single source of that information in a collaborative space, because I can put in things as I see them. Uh, there's the forms misaligned. I see these labels are not actually corresponding to the fields, and I can just toss them as a stream right into the Mattermost channel. I don't have to go into Jira, I don't have to start making tickets directly, I don't have to collect the pictures and put them into each place individually. I can just flow through my regular developer process, and as I'm doing so, drop in things I see or think about or notice directly into the playbook. 
And once I've done so, I can actually just recover all of this later, review all of it as you can see I'm doing here and create tickets directly on Jira. This is gonna be taking advantage of all of that stream of consciousness work I was doing earlier. I didn't have to leave my workflow. I didn't have to stop what I was doing and go make a ticket. I could put it in one place. And now I can go back later at a, at a different point and triage, look at what I learned, put that information into Jira, assign it to myself, to others, give it priorities, and move it along in my actual production. So you can see here, once I've done all of that, this information is directly linked into Jira, and from Jira I can get right back into the playbook and see the conversation. And because we're subscribed in Mattermost, we can see these messages when they happen directly in the channel. So this information comes right back to us where we can continue to collaborate with others. Now you've set up Mattermost with Jira, and you know some new tricks to be a power user. Thanks for bashing with me.